welcome in this SAP tutorial. Today our discussion topic is top 20 very important transaction codes related with purchase orders. Okay. So before we start this tutorial, if you are new on my YouTube channel ERP SAP team, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and after the completion of this video if you like this video please like hit the like button it will give us motivation and also please share this tutorial knowledge with your friends and colleagues because knowledge sharing is a gearing okay so uh, let's start the discussion uh, to, the, these are the type 20 tr transaction codes related with purchase orders in area of SAP MM okay so the first transaction code is ME21N this is used for the creation of purchase order ME22N this is used for any changes in the purchase order after creation okay ME23N if you want to display any purchase order then you can use the transaction code ME23N after the creation of the purchase order we have to release the purchase order by two flag R1 that is the initiator and R2 that is the competent authority okay so frequently used the transaction is ME29N and some in the some company they are using ME28 both are used for the release purchase order okay once you release the purchase order then the you can print this purchase order using ME9F once you print the purchase order in the PDF format or you can save the purchase order in the PDF format you can share this purchase order to the vendors okay so hope you understand these six transaction codes I have already made the videos on each and every transaction codes in the detail so if you have uh, if you want to go these transaction code in the details then you can visit my SAP MM playlist okay where I can explain each and every SAP MM process in very details and also if you have any query in your mind related with any transaction code you can just mention in the comment section and also you can reach us at ERP SAP team fund at the red gmail dot com okay okay so these are the transaction code related with the reports purpose uh, ME2C purchase order by material groups if you just want to uh, get the purchase order list by material groups like uh, power plant, uh, electrical services, civil services, housekeeping services material group then you can use this transaction code ME2C ME2DP for uh, this you can uh, monitor the down payment details of the purchase order okay ME2J the purchase order for project we have sometime we have created the estimates the capital estimates uh, we, we create the project we create the WBS in the external processing for the project services we will plan some services then after the releasing of the external services a purchase requisition will generate and purchase requisition will use for creation of the purchase order related with any project so how can you uh, know the purchase order uh, created in any project using the transaction code ME2J next one is ME2K purchase order by account assignment for example once we are creating the purchase order we have to fill the account assignment category so you can get the purchase order data list from ME2K transaction code ME2L 
purchase order by vendor purchase order by vendor if you want to check the purchase order list uh, on the behalf of any vendor code if you know the vendor code then you can get the data me to um, purchase orders by material if you have a material code and want to check the purchase orders list then you can use the me to um, okay purchase orders by purchase order numbers if you know the certain purchase order numbers then you can fill in this transaction code and you will get the data okay the next part is these are the amendment of the initiate amendment of the purchase order if you have if you created any purchase order and approved the purchase order but later you find any changes we have to do any changes or any mistake you have done then you can initiate amend the purchase order using zmmp underscore ini underscore amend okay the next one is me2s this is the services per purchase order means you have planned some services any purchase order so you can get the data of the services per purchase order using me2s me2w purchase orders by supplying plant if you have data of the supplying plants, you can get the list of the purchase orders. Okay. ME91F. Okay. Purchase orders are given reminders. Okay. If you have created some reminders to vendors and want to track the data, then you can use the transaction code ME91F. MSRV3. Service list for purchase order. Okay you can get the service list for purchase order okay the next one is vl 10 b purchase orders due for delivery purchase order due for delivery for example we have orders 100 quantity of some materials our vendor has supplied no vendor had not vendor has not yet supplied any quantity or vendor had supplied 90 quantity and 10 quantity open for delivery then you can get the data of purchase order due for delivery using transaction code vl10b okay any one p purchase order price history you can track the purchase order price history any atfn purchase orders details history okay ml84 okay you can get the list of service entry sheet in any purchase order which are accepted or not accepted or in at the block state okay so this is all about the top 20 very important transaction code in sap mm related with the purchase order okay so thank you for watching this video okay I am repeating again, if you like this video, please like, hit the like button and share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues. Okay, have a nice day, take care, bye bye.